Travis Wayne Goodsell. We're going to start this series of using truth from evidence against the LDS Church's lies to talk about the Church's keystone symbol. Growing up in the Church, there wasn't any. Went on my mission, wasn't any. We had to create an excuse why the church had no symbol. You had prophets telling us in conference that the symbol of our membership was our temple recommend, but not nothing for the church. Christians have the cross, so devout Christians will wear necklaces with the cross or hang a cross in their home. Jews have the Star of David, not the shield, which this is the shield of David. I don't know why they don't use the shield of David. Maybe they're waiting for the Messiah to come first so that they can then change the symbol. But you'd have to understand the Jewish symbolism first. And uh, Islam has the crescent moon, as they call it. I tend to think it's actually a partial solar eclipse that occurred on 8 April 4 AD. But if they want to call it the moon, that's their religion. They can call it whatever they want. And so symbols play a key role in rallying members in remembrance of the religion of a particular organization and uh, and so why doesn't the church have a symbol or do they the book of mormon is said in the introduction to be the keystone of mormonism again a keystone is the uh, position at the top of an arch of a doorway or an entrance or a gateway and it symbolizes the doctrinal teachings or principles guiding the particular organization in possession of the building or beyond the gateway <coughs> And this is where uh, we find out as Mormons why the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints does not want us to know the symbol of Mormonism. It is the inverted pentagram. It comes from Isaiah, which came from the Latin Vulgate. How art thou fallen from heaven? That's a falling star that's represented in the symbol of an inverted pentagram. O Lucifer! That comes from the Latin. Thus came from the Vulgate text, which was in Latin. Son of the morning. For the church, I would have to go into greater detail, as I have done in other videos. That comes from the Illuminati. 1st of May, 1776. They purposely chose that symbol. They purposely chose Lucifer because of the Isaiah passage for the sole purpose to destroy religion. And there it is on the Salt Lake Temple at Temple Square where there's also an eagle gate. 